Hi, I'm Joseph Source with The Variant. Today we're here at Heroes Con in Charlotte, North Carolina, and we're going to go ask some favorite comic creators what their favorite comics are. Let's go. Yes, Hi, Colin. Hey, how are you? Fine, thank you. So, what's your comic book? You know, it's a tough question, and I put a lot of thought into it, as I told you. <laughs> but uh, and, and I don't know that I can name my favorite comic, but I, what I can name is the comic book that made me love comics. And uh, because I collected comics, you know, as a kid, I was always reading them. But then I read Micronauts uh, by uh, Bill Mantlo, Michael Golden, Micronauts. And there was something about that book. It was the world building. And I was a little kid. It was the world building and the characters he took from basically a toy line that had no cartoon built around. It had no, you know, other, you know, history. It was just a toy. And he took and built this huge world, this universe. And I just fell in love with it. And it was like a light switch. That was, uh, and absolutely, that was the comic that made me know that I wanted comic books to be a part of my life forever. So yeah, Micronauts. Okay, so Robbie, what's your favorite comic book? My favorite comic book is uh, the first comic book that I remember buying, which was Fantastic Four 243, uh, Everybody versus Galactus. Um, it has a giant Galactus on the cover, and then obviously the Fantastic Four, but it also had like a bunch of other Marvel superheroes, and like I was completely blown away by the comic, because I thought, I just assumed every comic had every hero in it, like it was like every comic was going to be like a, a massive team up, which was not the case, um, but it created a lifelong love of comics, but also a lifelong love of Galactus. I now have in my office a, uh, a shelf with all Galactus toys. I try to put Galactus in every single comic I wrote, like this comic Silk. Uh, I put her in issue, I mean, put him in issue four for no reason. There's no reason for Galactus to be in there, but I was like, well, if this book gets canceled with one trade, I'll at least have gotten one page of Galactus in. So yeah, Fantastic Four 243, best comic ever. Yes. So Mr. Sims, what's your favorite comic book? There's a, there's a lot of comics that I love. Uh, but there's only one comic that I've ever called my favorite comic, and that is Paul Griss Jackstaff, uh, which it is the the story of a British superhero who 20 years ago he was the he was Britain's greatest hero, and then he vanished, and uh, he comes back, and it's got a lot of like Marvel analogs in it, like uh, Jackstaff himself is kind of like kind of a Union Jack analog. There's a really good story uh, that has characters that are kind of the the invaders like they're sergeant states uh and and tommy twister but paul grist writes and draws this comic where every few pages it's it it uh, the scene shifts and it has a different main character so it's not just jack staff it's also helen morgan and the agents of q it's also becky burdock vampire reporter it's also bramble and son vampire hunters who hunt becky burdock vampire reporter everything changes every couple pages but all of the the storylines intersect and interweave, and it's all done incredibly skillfully. Uh, Grist is, I think, in terms of page layout, in terms of storytelling, the best artist in comics today, uh, and has been for a long time. The way he uses space on the page, I look at it and I, I just get mad, because I don't know how he figures it out. I don't know how you, you, you put that on a page, let alone think about how to make the page work like that. No one uses the page like he does in comics. Uh, the first volume, um, he self-published as, uh, I think, Dancing Elephant Press, but Image did a printing of it, uh, and it was when the book was uh, all black and white, and so the book is called Everything Used to Be Black and White, which is brilliant. Uh, and that one is, th there's a color series that comes after, and that stuff's really good, but the way he's able to use negative space and uh, imply area just in, in black and white line work is amazing. Like there's a panel uh, where uh, Jack Staff is walking into a guy's house and all you see is like the paintings hung on the walls and the door. There's no other lines indicating the dimensions of this hallway, but it's perfect. It's, it's an incredible, incredible comic. It's, I think, among the best superhero comics ever published, if not the best but it is my favorite comic. Uh, every time there's a new issue, which is very rare, because uh, Grist has sort of moved on to other things. He did uh, he did Mud Men for Image. Uh, he's done uh, some 2000 AD stuff as well. Uh, but every time he, he goes back to Jack Staff, uh, it is a, a delight for me. Hi, Matt. Hi, how's it going? Hi, right, thank you. So? My favorite comic book is uh, Love and Rockets by uh, Jaime and Gilbert Hernandez. And I've been reading it since I was 14 or 15. I've grown up with the characters and the stories in the world and I never get tired of rereading it and I'm always inspired by new ones when they come out. And uh, uh, 
they're amazing people in life and great creators and amazing writers and artists and it's a, it's a fantastic book unlike anything else in the industry.